worthwhile is uphill. Then what I want to do to 10x you in leadership is to encourage every one of you in the stage of today to live an intentional life. The key to 10x leadership is being intentional in what you do. And the reason that intentionality is essential is because everything worthwhile is uphill. And no one, I haven't, you haven't, you don't know anyone that has, no one has ever accidentally climbed uphill. You've never read a book on accidental achievement. If you interview somebody that's successful and they're at the top of the mountain and you say, how did you get there? You've never heard a successful person when you ask them how they got to the top of the mountain look at you with surprise and go, oh my. They got to the top of the mountain, they did it intentionally. Most people don't lead their life, they accept their life. If this incredible 10th X Growth Conference is about anything, it's about you and I becoming intentional in our actions because. One of the most disappointing words or phrases in the English language is good intentions. I run into people all the time, they have good intentions. I have good intentions to, to develop a relationship. I have good intentions to build my business. I have good intentions to make some money. And, and, and good intentions is way overrated. And intentional living, intentional living turns good intentions into good actions. Intentional living is the bridge between where you are and where you want to go, what you think and what you do. And I'm passionate about helping people live an intentional life. Now, to 10x your leadership, there are four things you need to be intentional in. And these four things, I trust me, my name's John, I'm your friend, I promise you, I've been doing leadership for 45 years, I've been around the block, I got leadership down. These four things will lift your leadership to whole new level. So look at your neighbor and say, there's hope for you. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. There's hope for you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's four things. Go. And the four things I'm going to share with you are all in themselves one day lectures. So I'm going to give you four days of teaching in 45 minutes. Are you with me? Yeah! Are you ready? Let's go! Ready! Are
Number one, you need to be intentional in your personal growth and development. It starts there. This is foundational. There's no need to go to number two until we do number one. You see, my passion for the next eight minutes is to, be, to get you to become passionate about 10xing yourself on the inside. If you can 10x yourself on the inside in personal growth, it will show up on the outside. I want you to become bigger on the inside than you are on the outside. I want you to become better on the inside than you are on the outside. And to do that, you need to create a growth environment. And a growth environment consists of the following things. Let's go. Number one, a growth environment is a place where other people are ahead of you. You've got to constantly be somewhere in a place where other people are ahead of you. In other words, let me put it this way. If you're at the head of the class, you're in the wrong class. That's right. You don't want to be number one. You want to be around people bigger, better, faster, more experienced, more successful than you. This is where you get all of your stretching in. This becomes absolutely huge. Better people make you better. Bigger people make you bigger. More successful people make you more successful. I know that to be true. For 40 years, okay, here's a practical. For 40 years, every month I have a learning lunch. And my learning lunch consists very simply of me inviting somebody to lunch that's bigger, better, faster, smarter than me. I don't even eat lunch. I just buy their lunch. I have a list of questions. And in that learning lunch, I go through my list of questions and I learn from them. And they become my mentor. They become my teacher. I, I grow from that experience. I would encourage you, take action on this. Every month, begin to have a learning lunch with somebody bigger, better, faster than you. If you want to have a growth environment, you not only need to have people ahead of you, the second thing you need to have in this growth environment, this has to become a place, this is you, this has to become a place where you are continually challenged. You're continually challenged. In other words, you're always out of your comfort zone. I was recently going to speak for a company and their theme was fast forward and they asked me, John, what do you think of when you hear the two words fast forward? I said very simply, fast is faster and forward is short. In our age today with all social media, everything speeds up. I'm always amused when somebody says, I'm going to wait for things to slow down before I make a decision. Oh no. You're going to die. <laughs> They're not slowing down, folks. Fast is faster. And, and forward is shorter. What I mean by that is very simple. When I started dating back in the 1970s, you could have a 10-year growth plan or a 10-year company plan. And that was a long-range plan. Five years was a medium-range plan. Two years was a short-range plan. Today, a long-range plan is 18 months. Forward is shorter. Faster is faster. I have a new book coming out. Comes out Tuesday. Yeah. Write it down so you get it. They've already told me I'm on the New York best seller list already with pre-sales. But why don't you keep me there for a while? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. The, book. the book is called Leader Shift. Leader Shift. It's about making shifts, adjustments to strengthen and sustain your leadership. And I talk about 11 that you'll have to make in your life. What adjustments, what shit? It's all about being agile. It's all about fast forward. Fast is faster, forward is forward, is shorter. You gotta be quick, you gotta be agile. 
So get the book. It comes out Tuesday, okay? Called Leadership. Be careful how you say that. <laughs> that could very quickly become leadership. That book will be written by me, but only published after I die. It will be the other side of leadership that I've never talked about before, okay? So right now you just get leadership. Are you with me? That's what you get. Okay, now, a growth environment is a place where others are ahead of you, okay? Where you're out of your comfort zone. Let me tell you what else it is. A growth environment is a place. It's a place where your focus is forward. Your focus is forward. In other words, when people talk to me about transition, I always ask them, are you leaving something or are you going to something? If you're, if you're leaving something, you're in trouble. If, if you're going to something, it's good. Because if you're leaving something, you're just always kind of turning around and turning behind. You, you want to be going to something. And an environment that gives you great growth it is where the focus is constantly. A growth environment is a place, let me give you another one, where you wake up excited. You wake up excited. In other words, you are loving, loving, loving what you are doing. Wow. In fact, let me just say this. If you don't wake up excited, why wake up? Wow. I run into people all the time. They're just so boring, I just look at them and say, why don't you go back to bed? Just go back to bed. I, I, I'm 71. I'm 71. And every day I wake up excited. Why? Because I am continually, perpetually growing in my life. When I was 28, I heard Earl Nightingale say that if you'll spend one hour a day, every day, on the same subject, for five years. You'll become an expert on that subject. And I said to myself, I want to be an expert on leadership. And so I started every day, one hour, every day, on leadership, Wait. reading leadership, talking to leadership, people, doing leadership stuff. Just one hour a day, leadership, leadership, every day. And while I was going through that five-year process, I kept asking myself a question. How long will it take? How long will it take? I, I was like Cape Canaveral. I mean, I, I, I'm in a countdown mode. Earl Nightingale said five years. And so five years, four years, three years. How long will it take? How long will it take? And about halfway through this five-year journey, I changed my question. And I changed my question. Because growth began to change me inside. And I went from the question, how long will it take, to how far can I go? How far can I go? And I've been asking that question for the last 45 years. How far can I go? And let me tell you what, I don't know how far I can go. I just know that I'm still going and I'm still growing. And I'm still learning, and I'm still climbing. And here's what I've discovered. There is no finish line. There's no finish line. I watch people manufacture finish, finish lines. I watch them say, at this age I'll retire, at this age I'll, can I tell you something? If you think there's a finish line and you cross the finish line, guess what? You're finished. What's so exciting about that? Go over and say, hey, I'm finished. I'm a has-been. There's no finish line. I have seven companies. They're all growing. They're dynamic. They're getting better. I've got more books to write. I've, I've, got, more, I've got more teachings to give. I, I, I've got more ideas to, to implement. I, I'm something like that. There's no finish line. There's no finish line at all. Woo! Not for me. There's no finish line for you. No. Only he always says.
Well, if you cross that finish line, the good news is you completed the race. Look at your neighbor and say, if you have a finish line, you're finished. You go ahead and tell them that. One more thing about growth environment. A growth environment is a place, this is huge, where failure becomes your best friend. A growth environment is a place where you begin to embrace failure from the lessons that you learn from it and the opportunities you get out of it. I have the most successful coaching company in the world. I've got some, have, I have some John Maxwell team members here today, huh? Oh, oh yeah, I got some, oh yes. Come on now. Hey, six and a half years ago we started this company. Today we have 20,000 coaches in 142 countries. We're cooking, baby. We're cooking coaches. We're cooking coaches. Okay, now. Here we go. I was asked, how do you build such a fast, growing, successful coaching company? I'm going to give you my cycle of success. This is all in the growth area. Here we go. You got to stay with me. You got to be fast. So I'm giving you four days of lectures in just a few minutes. Come on. Hang in there with me. Hey, by the way, by the way, let me stop for a moment. Hang on. I'm very excited because I'm watching you and I can tell you're getting it. You're with it. You got it. You're taking notes. You're leaning in. You're not. You're with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I have one concern. I don't think the person on your left is as sharp as you are. It's unfortunate. I don't have anybody. He's not taking notes. He's not. Nope. Just look to the person on your left and say, it's okay, I'm I'll help you. Tell you. It's okay. It's okay. Can't I'll, do both. I'll, I'll help you. I'll Gotta help be good at one. You. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the cycle of, of success for growing a company, for growing yourself. This is the way it works. Test. Fail. Learn. Improve. Test. Fail. Learn. Improve. Re-enter. Test. Fail. Learn. Learn. Improve. Re-enter. And the cycle never stops. And if you test, you're going to fail. But when you fail, the question is not, did you fail? Don't count your, don't count your losses, count your lessons. What are you learning from the film? What are you pulling out of the film? Test, fail, learn, improve, re-enter, embrace failure, and allow it to become your best friend. One final thought on growth. When I learned that growth had to be intentional in my life, I wanted to develop and discover a growth plan for my life. And it took me a year and a half to find a growth plan. And I just want you to know, 60 seconds, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to find what it took me 18 months to find, and you can find it today. I have a growth plan for you. Oh yeah. I have a personal growth plan for you. And, and by the way, it's really good. Awesome. It's really good because I've done this for 45 years. I've got personal growth really down. So here's what I want to, I want to share with you. We have a digital, we have a digi digital project, and it's a, it's a growth plan, personal growth plan for you. And in it, I help you grow in three areas. In your dream, how to dream, 10 questions to ask yourself to make sure that your dream is valid. Because the more valid reasons for you to achieve the dream, the higher the odds are that you can grow to it. And by the way, you don't go to a dream, you grow to a dream. You grow to a dream. You, 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 you don't go closer to the dream, you grow closer to the dream. So I have in this online digital product, 
I have a whole teaching of me giving you the 10 questions you've got to ask for a dream. The second thing are the 15 laws of growth that I do an entire lecture on all 15 laws of growth for you. And the third thing is developing the leader within you 2.0, the revised edition of the second best leadership selling book ever. And I teach you the 10 things you need to do to develop yourself as a leader. And here's what's beautiful. Here's what's really beautiful. It costs $365. It's a $1,300 product today, $365. Now listen to me carefully. Hey, that is beautiful.